princesses. Today I'm going to be talking about the Etude House Dear Darling Water Gel Tints. These tints were very kindly provided to me for review by W2 Beauty and so I'm very excited to be reviewing them and this is the most lipsticks that I have ever swatched in one go and have reviewed so this video may be very long and I will try and split up the colors and put the timestamps in the description box so if you guys want to see the oranges, the pinks and the reds then you guys can just click through that and you can skip the other colors that you don't want to see. So the product description says a water gel tint with a fruity, juicy, moist finish and double the pigmentation for intense color payoff. These tints come housed in clear plastic tubes and have a doe foot applicator. I really like that the tubes are clear because it's a little bit easier to tell what color you're picking up and there are still a few shades that look a little bit similar. So I'm going to start off with the orange shades. There are four orange shades in this collection though OR203 and OR204 are very close in colour. OR201 is a really pretty peachy orange shade. This shade in particular doesn't adhere to my lips very well and it really sticks in certain spots. It is much better when my lips are super exfoliated and moisturised, but this is also the lighter shade in the collection. It's really pretty, but it does require a lot of lip prep. OR202 is a vibrant orange. This is one of the oranges that doesn't lean pink or peach. It is a very true orange shade. This shade has beautiful color payoff and it looks really pretty on my lips. For most of these shades, I did do a couple of layers to get this vibrant color, but it's still very buildable. So you can use it quite sheerly for a gradient lip look too, which makes it quite versatile. OR203 is a pretty orange based red. This shade is really similar to the next shade OR204, but this is slightly pinker. There are a lot of red shades in this collection, so there are a few other colors that look a lot like this one too. OR204 is another orange based red. This shade is slightly more red in comparison to OR203, but they're still pretty similar. I don't think that most people would need both of these shades, but it is still very pretty. Now we are onto the pinks. There are three pink shades in this collection, and again, they are really similar. There are small differences, and I definitely have a favorite out of the three, but I don't think that most people would need all three shades. PK001 is a bright raspberry pink shade. This is really pretty, and I use this shade a lot more than I use PK002. It does have some trouble adhering to my lips properly, so it needs a lot of lip preparation because of the pigmentation. However, when my lips are looking really nice, it does look very pretty. PK002 is a pinky red shade. This shade is very, very similar to PK001, but it's slightly more red and slightly more neon. This isn't a shade that I reach for often because the neon does look quite intense, but it is really nice. PK003 is a beautiful dusty rose shade. This shade looks similar to the other two, but it's a little softer and it's a little dustier in color. This shade also has a milk or cream formula, and I find that these milk formulas look a lot nicer on my lips than the watery or gel formulas do. They adhere better and they need a lot less lip prep. This shade is my favorite because you can apply it really lightly and you'll get a really pretty my lips but better shade. Or if you do two layers, it's a very beautiful dusty rose shade. There are five red shades in this collection, which I think is a little bit excessive. Again, they all do look really similar, but they have small differences. RD301 is an orange toned red. I'm up to seven out of 14 of the tints and my lips are already stained and super sore. Send your prayers before my lips after I finish this. There were two other orange toned reds in the orange section, but of course those are more orange than they are red, which is why they're in the orange section. 
This shade is really pretty, but of course it does suffer the patchiness that the other shades do. RD302 is a classic blue toned red. This shade is a little more unique because of the blue tone rather than the orange. This is really pretty and definitely a colour that I'd recommend to everybody because this type of red looks beautiful on all skin tones. RD303 is a pretty orange toned red with a milk formula. I prefer this formula over the water and gel formula and since this shade is almost identical to RD301, I prefer this one. I find that this shade looks nicer on dry lips and it has an almost glossy finish too initially which I think is really nice. This goes back to that juicy and moist description. These all dry down pretty matte and fairly smudge proof too. RD304 is another very unique shade. It's a pretty raspberry shade with glitter. Sadly, the glitters are not very apparent on the lips unless you do about five coats of the tint. However, this color is still really pretty and it reminds me of the pink shades. RD305 is a brown toned red. This shade is super pretty and really unique. I consider this to be a brown toned red, but it also is like a rosy red or a dusty red too, depending on how you see and judge your colours. This is another milk formula which works beautifully for me. There are two extra shades and I call them extra shades because they are supposed to be brown and black shades judging by their shade names. but they're totally not. BR401 is another orange toned red shade. This shade is like a milk formula of the OR203 and OR204. It's a little bit dustier in colour and it's still really pretty. But we've also had five other orange toned reds so far, so if you like orange toned reds, this is definitely the range for you. BK801 is a beautiful black currant shade. This shade is very unique, but it's not the best quality. This is probably my least favourite shade in the range because it stains my lips really unevenly and it doesn't quite get to that rich black currant shade that it swatches, which is quite disappointing. Even when I prep my lips super well, this colour just looks a little bit watery and washed out. I'm quite sad because this shade swatches so prettily. Here is what the colour selection looks like altogether. You can tell that there are some very similar shades, but having them all together does show some key differences. None of them are totally the same, but I think that there are a lot of similar shades, and most people wouldn't need all 14 of them. So I love that they are very inexpensive at $3.50 each. They have pretty functional packaging. There is a large color range and they are mostly easy to apply. They stain the lips really well and they last for a good five to six hours without eating or drinking. I don't love that there are quite a lot of similar colors and most shades need serious lip prep. These lip tints are incredibly inexpensive and they come in really pretty functional packaging that makes them really easy to apply and reapply. However, most of them need really serious lip prep. I need to use an overnight mask, I need to scrub my lips really well in the morning and make sure there are no traces of lip balm, otherwise the tints won't adhere properly to my lips. My lips are pretty dry, so not everybody is going to have this issue, but I did find that it was a semi-annoying issue for me and I did tend to prefer the milk formulas over the water gel formulas because the milk formulas were a little bit more flattering and easy to apply. I tried really hard to show the tints at their best in these swatches, so if you have really nice moisturized lips that don't have any issues, these are the colors that you will see. However, if you have dry lips, just be warned that they are going to be a little bit patchy and you are going to have to do a lot of lip prep too. 
If you have really pretty lips already, I do recommend this collection because it is really inexpensive and they are great colours. However, if you have trouble with tints adhering to your lips normally, I suggest that you pay a little bit more and get some better quality ones because there are tints out there that will adhere to your lips even if they're super dry, but they do cost a lot more. I also wish that there were some more unique shades in this collection. I found that it is quite samey, so there are a lot of reds and all of the reds look really similar. So I just wish that they had a little bit more depth to the range of colors. So I would recommend the Etude House Dear Darling Water Gel Tint to any princesses who are looking for super inexpensive lip tints that come in 14 different colors. Thank you so much to W2 Beauty for providing all 14 of these lip tints for review. And thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye.